Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it up? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander.
Shepard. I saw those Cerberus troops on you. I thought you were done for. Bailey, what are you doing here? Getting my ass shot off trying to retake headquarters. Cerberus took it in the first push. We gotta kick them out of there. Everyone in C-Sex flying blind without the network. How bad's the situation? Do you know if the counselors are alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Here we go, CSET network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Valern. He's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. Be on guard. The likelihood of betrayal from within is high. Not a lot else, but if he's inside... Why would the Counselor be meeting with the Executor? Usually it means someone big's about to be prosecuted. I guess that someone had Cerberus friends. The Counselor mentioned Udina, but that's insane. Does he even have this kind of pull? Well, you know who'd have the answer to that? The Counselor. One Counselor's better than zero. Where am I headed? He could be in the Executor's office. It's a fairly defensible position. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go! Hey, did you hear all that? Yes. I'm nearing the building, but running is difficult.
were hindering our ability to surprise the enemy. If gunfire doesn't put them on notice, I sure won't. now. Yeah, there's a stairwell further on. Executor's office is right above it. Let's hope we're not too late. Looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn, all right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count him out yet. Found him. He looks unharmed. Get him somewhere safe. Think about it. Shepard, he's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. I mean, what do you think? He's staging a coup. He's got the other counselors now to hand over to Cerberus. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun.
How bad is it? I have time. Catch him. Shepard, what's going on up there? Thane needs medical help fast, and I need to take care of an assassin. He must be going after the rest of the Council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the Councilors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the Council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. <laughs> Shepard, my instruments say your car's stopped. I'm on foot now. Any luck contacting the Council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the Council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. On my way. <laughs> Shield it behind them. Shalmar Plaza. Where's the council? In an elevator. They're trying to get to the shuttle dock. Someone's following them. Someone with a sword. Great.
Okay, I'm in the shaft. Hang on, this will be a fast climb. Tell me that assassin hasn't reached the council. He's trying, but I'm making his elevator stop on every floor. Nice. I found our friend. Kill his elevator. There's a power conduit beneath it. Good riddance. Incoming phantoms. Shepard? I see them. Jump! What's that noise? Gun! Get down! Blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. I can explain this, Caden. Come on, Shepard. Gun drawn on a counselor? Kinda looks bad. We don't have time to negotiate. You've been fooled, all of you. Odina's behind this attack. The Salarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. We've mistrusted Shepard before, and it did not help us. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I better not regret this. Dina, step away from the console. To hell with this! He's got a gun! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Something's not right. You said Cerberus was targeting us. Where did their soldiers go? Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And you have saved my life twice now, Shepard. I owe you both a personal debt, and one on behalf of Palavan. You don't owe me anything, Counselor. Times like this, we all stand together. Commander, do you have any idea why the elusive man would do this? No, I don't. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it.
things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's den. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. He likes to fight. He'll show up again. Pardon me if I'm not reassured by that. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. I guess he didn't trust that Adina's plan would come together. That reminds me, we got your friend Thane into work to Memorial. He's in for surgery. Apparently, uh, there's complications. Do you think he'll make it? I caught that they didn't have much drill blood on the Citadel. I notified his next of kin, his son, Koliat. He was the right blood type, but I don't know if he made it in time. We're pretty sure the route to the hospital is safe from Cerberus, if you want to see him. Uh, I'd go now. I'll get on it. Oh, and you can tell him the Salarian counselor says he's a hero. It just, uh, I don't know. Make things easier for him? Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Mm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppral Syndrome. At its worst, Keppral Syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. 
Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. I'll get more. Give me his blood type. That's not going to work. Only one other Drell on the station is a match, and that Drell is in with him now. We did all we could to help him through surgery, but his body can't replace lost blood with new cells. Too much shock. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Bane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Waves wear down stone and sand. Kalihira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koliad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves, the hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long. Ward level, purgatory. How's the head? 
good. Concussion's almost gone. Good. When I heard you were injured. It was stupid. I should have ducked when that wall came down. There. Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. They've got us spread out across alliance units. Reinforcing barriers, modding ammo, that kind of thing. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. Complain if you like, but I think military life suits you. Hey, running back to the alliance was your lifelong dream, not mine. Come on, plenty of combat, free room and board. And people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. My guys are handling the support stuff well. Still see some action, but they're not on the front lines. They've saved a lot of lives. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Because I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? 
Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? That's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... Welcome to Kanala Exports. Kanala Exports is pleased to offer goods for security and peace of mind. Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of Thank crisis. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. I recovered the Book of Plenties. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. You may help my people remember Any themselves. opened goods can only be returned for store credit. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any I'm and all personal needs. No, we're simply able to come back on duty. The hysteria is here. Seriously? Can't believe how hard the doctors are working to keep that terrorist back on his face. He's in intensive care? He got blasted by Cerberus. No, the Krogan are the only race that can fight on the toxic world, so they need support. Well, ideally, something like A joint Turian Krogan force has landed on a road in an attempt to retake the lowest home of the enemy. Another Cerberus trap? Bomb or turret? How many this time? These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? I just don't understand why you're suddenly so conflicted. Look, the asshole's in custody now. Killing him won't bring anyone back. It's about justice. The man is a traitor and a murderer. What's going on here? I'm in position at CSEC. Draw them away, and I'll move in and make the kill. Don't answer that. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help? Same as always. Without that, everything goes to hell. Look at Powell's in custody. We're in hell. You should be looking for terrorists. The rest can take care of itself. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught CSEC by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small steps. Support defense and security and... Commander Shepard. Guess I know what happened to my backup. Excuse me? Come on. I'm in CSEC in civilian gear with a weapon. I know when I'm made. Just let me explain. Captain Aaron Summers, Alliance Marines, retired. Captain Summers? There's a prisoner here. 
CSEC officer who helped Cerberus. CSEC caught him when you stopped the coup. Now he's offering them intel on Cerberus to get a better deal. Why are you telling me this? Because he doesn't deserve a better deal. He killed people during the coup, good people. And he's former Alliance, like us. The way I figure it, he's our problem to fix. Tell me what this guy did to deserve death. He executed his own friends in cold blood for Cerberus. Cleared the path for their troops. Now he's saying he's a vet. And he was suckered in by talk of helping humanity. I don't know what intel he has, and I don't really care either. He dishonored the uniform. Officer, I'm Commander Shepard. You have a prisoner here, a Cerberus informant? I'm invoking Spectre Authority to take charge of him. Do what you have to do. Thank you, Commander. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Rules be damned. People have a right to defend themselves. If you start Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make Welcome to Agor Munitions. The commander's right. Maybe it's a council organizing some civilian militia to trade. Remember, all safer. purchases. Welcome to Superteen Armory. I just I just want people to be safe. We appreciate Agor it. Munitions will show in your credit report as AM Trading Limited. What if we submit a proposal to start a militia commission? Okay. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the Embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. I'll Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Good hunting. I really appreciate management doing it. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Mm. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Helium, if these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, Still, I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Proceeds from all purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. For the best in the business, come to Casa.
goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. We've kept digging a few hours longer than Scott and the forces. I know the Haiti sector is off limits. You want my security vids, bring me a warrant. You're stonewalling me? Those vids could be vital for the war effort. I doubt the Reapers have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Hell of a job, too. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers. Right We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSEC however you can. destination. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. at docking bay D-24. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is hosting... Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. Permit. These Cross are the remote the navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. And someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E-24. The Emergency needs to understand helmet. what these refugees... Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vas, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. They're lost, they're sacred. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these... Thank you, Commander. If you could just take a few shots... Terry and Steve. 
state arms. Your purchases are the pressure's okay. No infection, so can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit, but hurry. I take it. Are you Gorek? <sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Eratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony! Only regret them. <laughs> Don't have the strength to... <sighs> I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Ha! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. You think I didn't feel guilty? I destroyed a colony. I've thought about the people who died. About how I couldn't warn them in time. In the end, I didn't have a choice. But I'm sorry. If that means anything. <laughs> if you're so remorseful... <clears throat> do you have any real guilt? Show some mercy. <laughs> Unplug this machine. Let me join my family. Shepard, you saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off-grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I've heard so many sad stories. These people have lost so much. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I've contacted the exec. They said it's not a priority, and it doesn't matter. What matters is that I've got Turian soldiers dying for lack of medication. A joint Turian Krugan force has landed on the What are you doing here? I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? Cerberus wants our help. And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just, I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. 
They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distracted. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with... Uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad. I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We'd need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. Would this collection of Asari matriarch writings help? Uh, yes. Yes, it would. Okay, it's auto-translating. Let's see. Oh, no. The technology falls under an existing patent. I can't actually access the schematics without a license from, let's see, Elkos Combine? How did you even? Well, this is great. Okay, here you go. Hope this helps you build that dark energy device. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. Weren't you running a shelter for war orphans on Ilium? Yeah, it was doing well until the Reapers attacked. Ended up spending most of what I had left getting the kids off world. I'm sorry if that was... No, you did the right thing. Thanks. You doing okay? I'm doing great. Listen. Can I ask you something, though? Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? We'll defeat them, or we'll die trying. There's no other option. Yeah, okay. Listen, another question. Do you really think you'll defeat the Reapers? You just asked me that, Conrad. Sorry. I like to ask all the questions I can think of, and sometimes I forget which ones I've asked already. I should go. Seems this place is hard-pressed for supplies. I think I saw some guys fighting over a thermal clip. A what? A thermal clip. They stop weapons from overheating. I'm sorry. Just a joke. Wait. Where do these thermal clips come from? I thought weapons cooled down. They used to. After the Geth attack a few years back, we switched to thermal clips. Well, that sounds like a major step backward. It lets guns fire with more power, and soldiers can pop in a new clip instead of waiting for the gun to cool. Fine, sure. You can still wait for your gun to cool down on its own, though, right? Well, no. The in-gun cooling tech was sacrificed to make room for the thermal clips. Okay, that's just... <laughs> you might as well be going back to limited ammunition. It's not ammunition, Conrad. I just don't think it's a very good idea. I'll be sure to let every military organization in the galaxy know that. Did you lose anyone back on Earth? No. I mean, extranet friends and such. But I don't really have any family left. What about your wife? Mm. Conrad, do you even have a wife? Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well, no, but see... Conrad, if you have some kind of weird shrine of me, I'm gonna be very unhappy. It's just a poster with a few candles. It's very tasteful. Are you kidding me? Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. 
Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are a line's property. Have a little faith, loco. I have a little. They just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Proceeds on Gay Hidden, the Hades Nexus. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power in the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. Balak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahawk system. What? They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people... Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. I fixed the sabotage. The Metagel dispenser should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately.
Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard, did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? You... you saved my life! I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. I have your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D-24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. I had a friend in security at Sonax, and there was definitely Prothean tech on Garbug. I know the Valhalla threshold is Reaper territory now, but Prothean tech could help the crucible. Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went on one down, and it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is, we stopped the coup, and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later, when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. And it matters. You're talking about Adina. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same. Including you. <sighs> okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh... There's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position. But I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. 
Aye, aye, sir. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him.
I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he showed up again on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Hmm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. And Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Bastards. And Udina, too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Commander, I've got a lead on something interesting. Have you got a minute? Commander, I've found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now... I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? Yes. I was visiting my family during a university holiday. While the Alliance was running studies, you were saving me and my family. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Commander? Damn, I could really use something to shoot right now. So 
So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Cadence back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Commander. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Moss. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. The Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Commander, Dr. Chakras sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering.
Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? This is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real-world expertise will give you an edge. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or... Did you think about it before accepting? The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. <laughs> what didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. It got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. 
You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here, it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. I thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot-first, ask-questions-later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. And if the other human had not seen reason, his death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I would like to visit the Citadel sometime when it is not infested with traitors. I've heard about the Kai Leng human you encountered. It is good to have a name for the enemy I will enjoy killing most. Yes? Commander, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Shepard, hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. 
Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight, too. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. All seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I want to be fighting alongside them, but... I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's M.I.A. He's presumed. Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left Mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. That's all I know, but it's, uh, it's enough. She's alone in this now, in all this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie, in empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard, keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. So use it. That's how I cope. I think about how Earth looked. And how it's gonna look when we get back. Guns blazing. The whole galaxy behind us. <laughs> yeah. And my students. Well, whatever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, there's going to be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the council dock. Their security is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. Hello, Shepard. May I speak with you, Commander? Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me, but you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Commander.
Signal confirmed. Reapers eluded. I found something. up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. So what does the Sari High Command want us to do? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. IR says this shuttle's warm. A recent visitor. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder.
was that? Stay sharp. Delay. You won't believe what Yanis managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there. Oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. I heard something. Looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. At least it's no surprise Nuke gone to Chanka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Arda Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings the Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Arda Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait. Let's go.
fight didn't last long by the look of it. It wouldn't. The monastery only had a few guards to protect it, not an army. Reaper's done. Mother, you came. As soon as I was able. Shepherd, this is Faler. My youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... They have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. We need to find Rila fast. The bomb we're looking for is in the Great Hall. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falair. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falair? I'm sorry. Valer! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came.
a dead commando? Was she holding off Reapers, or was she left behind? Commandos work as teams. She would have volunteered to guard this point. Hope she took some down before she died. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? They've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Solaire, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! We're not your slaves. even time to say goodbye few can break the reaper's hold Rila's will was extraordinary as was her love for you we left her to die
Rila made her choice. And it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Halair. The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so much stronger than I... Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait, now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard, I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use, organizing the resistance. You know, you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And is enough.
Emperor seemed popular for a while. They were fighting the Collectors while the Council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Everybody was fighting the Ragni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jar. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before... It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder. Eliminates any local resistance. And for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two. The one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Another time. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Lyra. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. <sighs> well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No, not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. At your service. It's good to see you. Mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble.
Signal confirmed. Faster than light jump successful. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah. With Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard's still alive? He's alive. And right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins, a lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor, maybe more, that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history, ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. And you think the elusive man made him an offer? Exactly. Whatever's going on with your father can't be good. We have to figure this out. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. You sure? Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. Was the Bolas ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. You've never 
ever been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... ...must continue in order to end the war. We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus. It's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't... I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. You gonna go on about them all night? Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Said? So we killed Korlak. Once the credits go through, was beginning to think you weren't interested in the money. I'm not. Because Korlak worked for Cerberus? What'd they do to you? None of your goddamn business. He waking up. This is Commander Shepard. Can you hear me? <sighs> yes. Yes, I can hear you. Tell me where you are. Still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that. Stay calm. Help's coming. Said used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Said? How you know my name all of a sudden? Good question. Damn, wrong door. He needs you alive to stop Cerberus. Cerberus is after a Turian colony. Kill me, and they get it. Drop my name. Shepard's investigating. He's a recent acquaintance. How recent? Very. Shit. All right, I'm listening. Been a while, Zaid. Shepard. Glad I wasn't just making an ass of myself over a hunch. Undisciplined bastards. This is what I get for signing up at the last minute. Where's Korlak? I'm here, Commander. I... You saved my life. I almost died because the Turians thought I was still with Cerberus. Did those mercs hurt you? I'm fine. They wanted me alive until the fees were delivered for my capture. They didn't care about what I had to say. You kept mentioning a colony in your message. Information on a Turian planet's defense system. They'll strike soon. 
But if I tell you which planet they're attacking, Cerberus will know I turned traitor. Turn? You already betrayed your own people. We saved your life. Tell us what planet you put in danger. I can offer a bargain. The Volus bombing fleet. In tactical terms, it's worth far more than a colony. Or you could give us both. You can warn the Turians there'll be an attack, Commander. That should be general enough to ward off suspicion. You tried to do the right thing before. It failed because you trusted the wrong people. Now here's your chance to make up for it. You're giving us Vola support, and you're going to help us make Cerberus pay for using you. I can't. You can. Waste of everyone's time trying to appeal to a Volus's better nature, Shepard. Aphis. The colony's name is Aphis. Cerberus wants its shipyards. And the bombing fleet? Yes, it's yours, Commander. I'll speak with Citadel Security about this... incident. You have my thanks. Took him long enough to spit that out. Zaid, what are you doing here? Later. C6 on their way. Won't be too pleased with the mess we left them. Catch up with me at the docks if you like. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Please visit any of our Elkos Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. Spectre status recognized. Please select one another. moment, please. James? Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat... Ow! I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer. How could I fail, right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure, the good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping, but the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. Wondered if you'd show up, Shepard. Figured you'd be too busy recruiting goddamn armies for this war you're in charge of. I could always use more help. I'll bet. I've seen footage of what happened on Earth. Tell you what. 
I'll see if some old contacts of mine are still around. Can't promise you anything, but if enough of them are still breathing, I can lend a hand. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. I recognize you. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes. Someone needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Your people need our supplies, and my people need every edge we can get. Your combat-grade meds will make a difference, and our mission may just save everyone. Now is not the time for pettiness or mistrust. With our day-to-day -day worries, uh, it's easy to forget we are all in this together. I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay D-24. Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Reapers are you basing this on? Um... None, ma'am. Outstanding. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Commander? Alright, so this is the part of the stream that I will be actually talking now. Um, not Sir, often, gonna have but... a hard time recruiting now. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. 
With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. So this is pretty much like wrap up of the stream where major events have kicked off before we do the next major. Liara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Of stuff and story objectives. Uh, we just wrap up by just having like you know, a bit of just light discussion, all that. Commander. Kane might have some things to say. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. <sighs> Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Good to see you. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medijal delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyn. Excellent find. Yeah. Honestly... I usually run mostly Paragon. The scars aren't that much of a thing. I probably should have at the end of last game just healed my scars. But I don't know, they had character. Commander, the information network terminal has been updated. So I know if you have like almost no renegade whatsoever. Which we already pretty much don't have much Renegade. Um, then, like, there's no cybernetic scarring. But I think, because I do, I think my hands are a little bit fucked up. But, you know, that's either here nor there. Need anything, Commander? How's Engineer Donnelly working? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. My board is green. Hackett is available in the war room on VidCon. Commander. What do for the scene of the stream before we do exploration and all that. Thank you. 
Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game, while you gather what we need for the Crucible. So keep at it. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Well, like I mentioned earlier, the Turians are getting stretched thin, even with Krogan help. The Salarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irum. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Beyond those reports I mentioned, no. Instability along the Geth border is all we've heard. In this war, that could mean anything. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnot Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachanka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Asari? Since the coup attempt, the Asari have stepped up to the plate. They're committing fleets and sending a science team to work on the Crucible. And believe it or not, they promised us the Destiny Ascension. They haven't forgotten you saved it three years ago. How about the Solarians? They sent the entire fleet as a thank you for rescuing their counselor. I guess they managed to overlook the Genophage cure. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorchai I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out.
I mean, I think, yeah, I'm, at, I'm past the minimum. Oh. Success are poor, but doable. No. Commander Shepard. I still think we should try an attempt at having Joker romance Harbinger. Man, I would love to see that. <laughs> Thank you, Reapers, for being Evasion courteous enough successful. to let me do that, and goodbye! I found something. eluded. I can just run around in Sari's home cluster, collect all the things, and fuck off before things become a problem here. I don't think there's anything in on any of these planets. Signal confirmed. Oh, I've already been stand corrected. next like n7 mission crops up after i do the next main mission the only side mission available right now has something going on and for the people new to the playthrough this is not my first playthrough obviously i know a lot about the game i've probably I played through the mass effect trilogy as a whole six or seven times um, and played through Mass Effect 3, 2 and 3 specifically, 2 I think maybe 9 or 10 times, 3 specifically, I've played through at least Faster a dozen than light times. Jump successful. Um, but 
I'm doing this playthrough for a good friend of mine who can't do FPS games, or TPS in this case. But Signal the story's confirmed. good, so I push the buttons, they make the calls. Evasion successful. I found something. Mind you, all of these playthroughs were, for the most part, over the course of the last... God, this game... That's like 3 has been out for, what, a, over a decade now? It's been 11 years, I'm pretty sure. I think that... No, 12 years. This game came out in 2012. So I know a lot of my original playthroughs were back when the game released. Reapers eluded. Um... I'd say since the Legendary Edition has come out, I have put in maybe close to 500 hours in the Legendary Collection. Signal confirmed. I want to say it's in that ballpark of about 500-ish hours. Uh, so in other words, a lot of fucking time. <laughs> so I don't remember off the top of my head where everything is, but usually it doesn't take me long to find. Like, I usually remember, like, what missions have what assets, uh, and such, but I won't always remember exactly what planets have things on them, or where, uh, like, in said mission some things are, just, you know. Ooh, minor details. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Oh, oh there is nothing here. Uh, so there's something in the viewing dock. A soldier I gotta pay a visit to. Sweet Mother Mary. Commons. Didn't I just recover that? So, in purgatory. I I feel like I recovered some of these. Oh, and then Valhalla and Threshold. It's 
it's hard to remember exactly where some of these people are. I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. I think maybe they're not appearing as important people because something. I think yeah. I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia yeah, period so some of these, in May D24. Like she wasn't appearing on the map. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project quite <laughs> Welcome to Elcos Combine Arsenal Supplies. So there are some people I actually have to look at. Come out. Money and I'm closing my account. Your account helps fund citizens. Have you seen Palavin or Earth? You can't escape this war. At least here you've got the council fighting for you. There was another Asari somewhere? That was the turret guy, but there was an Asari, I believe, who I recovered her dying message partner. I know earlier in the stream I did it for Erebus or Ereba. There's another one somewhere. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping at A Welcome to Superteen Armory. Thank Agor you for munitions. shopping at Superteen Armory. I don't quite remember she was. Welcome to Nosastra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosastra Sporting Goods. I gave her that, but I'm Welcome to the Casa monastery. Fabrication Weaponry. I can't quite remember where the hell she All is. Down with Thank our you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Her name is Tasha. There she Hooray. is. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Like, it's not something that you get money for, but it's just something that you can do to be a person. So, like, Caden invited me to dinner here. I'm going to save that for the next stream. Liar is also over there waiting for me. Garrus is also up in the docking area. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. There's got to be something. I don't know what Cerberus was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Without a new treatment plan, we're stuck, and I can't think of anything beyond what we've already tried. I know, but I can't think of anything else. Can you? I understand Palavin is very busy, but this is one of your own generals. He was stabbed with a poison. Well, then pick up all the Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. We're fighting right now to protect the people you're talking about. If you let these people die, that fight is for nothing. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everything. I think we could still just come into this room despite our patient being discharged a decent bit ago. Like, at least a couple days ago. 
at least a few days ago, you know, he was up on his feet, saving the council, you know, well, trying his best to. We give him an A for effort. Please select a destination. One moment, please. reports on some of the things you fight. Well, we'll stop the reaper. I've recovered some tech from a library in reaper-controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at Bay D24 if that would help. Oh, whoops. Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. I don't think this is like a major so, plot point. Looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Uh, oh, well, Joker's been much, smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seems like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed a weak. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we then proceeded to talk normally. After your encouragement, his attitude exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is proving to be an illuminating experience. <laughs> That is a nice, tall pitcher of alcohol. You just introduced me as your personal assistance met. That's the banner of the Your turn. Counselor Tabos. Five points off for attitude. Shaira, the consort. Uh, can you stop this? You're creeping me out. Um, I don't believe there's anyone else that I can drop in. Off to well here anyway. The Elcor has something that I can't Spectre find. I believe after after the next main mission, I'm pretty sure I get a like a couple more places to go that have a majority of what I'd be looking for. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Assisting Cerberus in an attempt to crew against the Council Brain. Heavy losses are mounting as human colonies Elysium, Tintree, and Zeus... Who were those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from our maker. Welcome to Vitarian State Arms. Should have studied the job longer. Please observe all cast restrictions when making a purchase. While the Alliance takes heavy losses, Turian troops have been bolstered by Krogan support on Palapin. I heard about the horrible things Cerberus did during the coup. That's not the organization I joined. The support of the Turians proves that the Krogan are ready to return to the Citadel. Reaper forces about time. Nice. <laughs> but I'm about to make my comeback. Hey, I've assumed full control of the clips, and we're committed to moving forward with Ari. Should be I. Yeah, I think that's pretty much a wrap on everything. Hey. Oh. Hey, it's you. Still waiting, I see. Just so sad. Any news? No. I'm sure they will. I'll drop by later to check in on us, if that's okay. Okay. Man's paternal instinct is kicking in. Spectre status recognized.
One moment, please. Poor kid. Basically, I want to last shuttles off her home world, and her parents watched her go. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor, ma'am. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garba. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation. I don't know why I came back to the Normandy. I'm just immediately gonna go back. You know what? I'm just gonna load back onto the Citadel and call it a stream. I don't know why I came back. So next stream I'm planning on doing the next dock, two Normandy. main Do missions. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. Uh, by main mission, I mean go to the Exerberus Science Facility, then go to... You're sure of what you saw? Yes, Sergeant. Heard from your uh, brother since then? No, Sergeant. <sighs> All right, Talavi. I'll see if I can get you fighting Reapers instead of Cerberus. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. You won't thank me so much when you're eye-deep in husks. I... That's actually something I can go do real quick, I believe. But... Shepard, if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. 100% Garrus, next time. Um, and I'll do the Perseus Veil, I believe, is what the system is. Where I go to investigate what's going on between the Geth and the Corians. Because shit's always going down at the same time. But I think that's, that will be the goal for next stream is do those two things and then financial report, medical supplies, always authorize. Yeah, I'll send her to the Reapers. So, interesting bit of lore about Private Talavi here. Pretty sure we already killed her brother at the first N7 mission we have, which was the uh, Cerberus lab that was analyzing Reaper technology. You can find uh, some like logs around that basically show... Uh, pretty much show... Uh, they're from her brother. It's like whatever his rank was, and saying that he got approved for integration, quote unquote. And well, we all really know what happens with uh, integration. That is it is. This weapon, this weapon will be used in a very sparing way. Uh, I know upgrading it to level 5 will also reduce its w weight further. But, uh, I really do just very much enjoy this. Into enemies. 
and how much damage it like does to armor too. And all things considered, it's fairly accurate. Or, you know, fucking LMG. I know that that one is a personal favorite on certain playthroughs. I think on my first ever playthrough before the Harrier became a thing, I think I mainly used the Faiston. I forgot that this thing is basically just a miniature version of the fucking other one. <laughs> and it's way less accurate. Thing, if anything I'll stick to the Matic for now and there will be specific missions where I use the uh, Harrier or not not Harrier the Typhoon I am curious about the Disciple however what does this one do I still prefer the Venom. I don't know, something about blowing up literally everything I encounter in a blaze of fucking glory. Just does something for me. But that's where I'm going to call the stream. Uh, I think the first thing that I'll be doing next stream will probably be hanging out with all of the characters that are around the Citadel. So there will be Javik, Samara, Ar... Oh yeah, I don't need to. Caden, uh, Liara... I think that's free. And Garrus, and Garrus. Um, I think the only thing I... We'll wrap up with is doing Commander Bailey's dialogue post attack. Uh, so many pieces to put back together since the Cerberus but attack. This is where I'll stop We're talking. Reeling from the implications. Houdini in stream. league with Cerberus trying to murder the Council. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. All that time you were working for Adina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead. And you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Odina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying. And crying. They're saying this is the war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard.